Hey, I'm Taylor. I'm Madison. And I'm Logan. And, and we're Kane. Is that wish wish? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's, it's, yeah it was you called can't wish, have wish. Christmas. Um, it's an amazing song. It never repeats. It doesn't rhyme. Very much a haiku in that Should way. Should we just sing a little of it? Okay. There's no harmony either. Right. Yeah. No, no, unfortunately. It was only for me. Yeah, just for solo act. Uh, yeah, it just goes, wish, 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 wish you can't can have something, something if it's not for Christmas. Christmas. I thought you, if you can't have, but it's if it's not for. No, is that what it is? Wish, See, wish. See, that's the thing. That's the video. Oh, uh, no. that, yep, yep. Seems really uh, likely. And and it's my song, so it's like, yeah, I if I want it to be whatever I yeah. want, it is. It was a terrible song. The thing that was hilarious song. is that Dad was like, "Hey Taylor, will you sing? We wish you a Merry Christmas." And she's like, "No, I'll write my own song." And, and then, look, yeah, it was you write songs. It was weird, but yeah, started my career. So we're here. Thank you, or you're welcome. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, me. Thank you, me. Okay. <laughs> extravagant to me they were extravagant we um mom and dad would make sure that we would come into their room and wake them up so we could all experience what santa brought together and it was just i just remember being so excited it was well, a special uh, wrapping paper continuing yeah. with the theme of being close and sharing and uh we all got the same whatever the big item was, we all got it so that no one would feel like they got something better than the other. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then there color, were always the same, same amount of packages. Mom and dad always wanted to make sure that everybody got to open the same number of boxes. And so it's like if, you know, if, if the bike was the big present that year and then there was like, you know, individual, we one sock in this box, one sock in this box. Everything was just <laughs> spread out so that you had the same stuff. Open up, so. Do you think that it's really mom? Is that why we all dress the same? Like, should we thank her for like our mom fashion? Because like, it was all we had to be the same. Monochrome. Mom and dad. Yeah. Christmas. I think it was really dad's thing. Just re he wanted to make sure that we loved Christmas growing up and that we carried it forward. So it was like we had a day to decorate the outside, a day to decorate the tree, a day to make cookies. A day, like it was a full month long calendar specific the activity you would do in the movie that yeah. you watched with it. Big, big Christmas movie family. Um, the cookies where you make the dough and it's like there's hairs and like gross <laughs> stuff in the dough, but you still have to like cut them out, decorate them. Um, I think overall, I just, when I think about being a kid at, in our family, staring at the tree, the lights, family, it was never what we got as a gift. I can't really even remember certain gifts that we got. Yeah. It really was like, it's not Christmas until we're all together. One of our traditions is that Every night on Christmas Eve, we watch White Christmas. And because of that, I know all the songs and the dances and- Yeah, as the years went by, everyone would fall asleep before it's over and it kind of, but there was just something about cutting White Christmas on that was like, okay, Christmas is here. Christmas yeah. is tomorrow, it was pretty sweet. And um, I, I think I have a similar fondness for, because um, dad always, we would essentially do our own version of the 25 days of Christmas. And so you had to start with the kind of lighter, <laughs> less emotionally like charged. Yeah. It was very sort of like, yeah. And so I remember basically the day after Thanksgiving, you were allowed to watch Elf. And that signified to me Christmas has yes. begun. Yeah. Was watching Elf, yeah. Um, I'm a big fan of like when they put on the Christmas story for 24 oh, hours. Yeah. Like I, I don't watch it in one completed. I just watch like bits and pieces of it. But it. Yeah, in 24 installments. Yeah. No Hallmark movie? Oh, what, what was the title of something we saw last oh. night? It, it's Here we go. It's time for him to come home for Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> it's, it needs to fit like. on the TV. Like it's if you awesome. do it's a title. <laughs> 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 oh, You're like, wait, I thought that she was married to him. Yeah, I know. Love That's good. It. That's good. 
Oh gosh, I'm not gonna do well. I am starting with Taylor. Okay, I like um, the Christmas. Wait, oh, my wish, wish, my, wish, wish by Taylor, Taylor Kane. Um, it's like uh -huh. it's like really short. Yeah. Four seconds off. No, I really love like Nat King Cole's the Christmas song. Uh -huh. Like when that one, da -da -da, like when that comes in, it's Christmas time. Um, Christmas lights by Coldplay. Ooh, That's like the holiday one. season for me. Well, okay, what are you going to say? Because I have like a 1A, 1B. Well, well, I was, I might have said Christmas Lights by Coldplay. Okay. I'm going to do a different one. Well, let me do a different one because you okay. can have that. No, you do it and now pick even a different one. Okay. Well, no, That's no, cool that you guys get two answers each. Same old Lang Syne. Oh, Dan Fogelberg yes. feels like Christmas to me. That's like the first time on riding around in a car looking at Christmas lights. It's a, I don't know if I can publicly endorse it, but it's a great song. Probably the same old Lang Syne by yeah, Dan. No, 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 no. Okay, it's coming to me. <laughs> Shut up, you didn't even have one. What about? I can't, I like, it's just like. And the bells are ringing out. We're a big, the we're a big Amy Grant I don't know if Oh yeah, that, the fairy tale of New York. That is such a fun one. And have y'all heard that one? I just heard it like two years ago. We just, Here, here's the thing though, as a family, we get in the car and we would have Amy Grant's yes. Christmas cassette tape True. that you would put in. And so much. Okay, we, I know I have okay. it. Yeah, you're right. Um, it's the most wonderful time of the year by Amy Grant because that's the first one that comes on when you. Wait, is that the first track? The I don't know if it's the first, but it's in there. It, it which one out. is that? The one that jumps? Yeah. So our our cassette tape, the tape broke, and our dad was a uh, civil engineer before he started church, and so he took a soldering iron and welded the tape back together. But so. because he had to make a cut, the song jumps time, and I learned it that way. So the first time I heard <laughs> the actual song, I was like, that was strange. boring. <laughs> that was boring. <laughs> okay, okay, we grew up with a real tree. We were team real tree growing real, up. For sure, real tree. for sure. I still ascribe to the real tree, but now that I have a kid and I'm hardly home, I see how it's a tough time. It's tough. Like, it's really hard. I, yeah, yes. a real tree. I have, a, are you? I have an artificial tree in my house right now. I have a real Christmas tree in my heart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've got a real Christmas tree in my eye still <laughs> from years ago. From judgment. No, but I have, I wanted a really tall, have you ever seen flock trees where it looks like it snowed on them? Uh, I hate myself, but I love myself and I love my <laughs> fake tree. <laughs> she loves her fake tree. She got it. Split. Yeah. What a split. When your kids are like four, we're probably all gonna flip back to real because they can't know. Because well, you want the experience. Right. So I have a pink Christmas tree in my front window. That's to greet me. And then the one <laughs> that's, that's greet me. the one that's dangerously close to the fireplace. That's gonna be the real one. So play with danger. Cute. That's right. <laughs> this holiday better go good. I would say um, having a kid this year when I think about what that would have been like to give birth in a barn. Yeah. To be, like, to just, I don't know, for the savior of the world, for Mary to love him so much, but to know that he was never meant to be hers, that he was gonna be given to the world, it, it just has a different meaning. And so Christmas is about family, it's about celebrating, it's about slowing down from everything else, but it's, it's about that moment that we received hope in Jesus. Yeah, I mean, I, we talked about at the beginning um, that Christmas was important to our dad because it was important to his mom. And I think now that we have added a generation, I think it just bears so much more weight for me now to understand like, no, they're not gonna be old enough to remember what, they, what happened to them this Christmas. Mm -hmm. But we're, we're setting in motion things that they someday will do with their kids. And I think that everything, it just kind of, like you said, slowing down, celebrating all that stuff. But some of my most fond memories weren't the things we opened, but the the pop-up book of the nativity that we laid out. And, and you guys were shepherds and I was some sort of animal because I was crippled with shyness as a kid and couldn't even pretend to be a person. So I wouldn't have to talk. But those memories of, of um, taking time when the world says it's about what you get or even even what you give and rather saying like what was given to us. Yeah, that's good. We got to write a song with one of our heroes, Stephen Curtis Chapman, and it's called Wonderful. And I think it's just 
Sometimes Christmas is almost like a chance to look at what you've lost. Sometimes each year you come around and you're all sitting around the same table and there's people missing or there's things that didn't go like you thought. And um, our favorite verse about Jesus being that wonderful counselor, I think Christmas is just, it can be a time of hopelessness, but we can choose to look at Jesus being brought into all of our situation and he, he saved us and gave us something that's eternal that we can, you don't have to be happy if you don't want to be, but you can look at what he did for us and find a lasting joy and a lasting peace that goes beyond what one little season can bring you. So to our friends at Star 99.1, we want to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.